Welcome to the channel everyone. When it comes to emulation, should you get the Pi or the Mister? Emulation has become more popular recently because of single board computers like the Pi and the DE10 Nano that the Mister runs on. While emulation might be less than perfect, it does give gamers the opportunity to play games that they may not be able to afford or maybe not even have access to. So when it comes to emulating retro arcade games, there are many different options, including console modding. But for today's video, we're only going to focus on two of the most popular standalone systems, the Pi and the Mister. Which one is right for you? Let's find out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe guys, like and subscribe. Let's compare the two boards. First, the Pi is a single board computer that comes in a variety of versions. For gaming purposes, we're primarily talking about the latest Pi 4, although the Pi 3B Plus is still very popular and widely used as well. Even though both devices can be used for other projects, let's take a look at some of the emulation gaming specific items of interest when you're considering which one to purchase. So the Raspberry Pi 4 comes with a Cortex A72 running at 1.5 gigahertz, eight gigs of DDR4 RAM. It also comes with a gigabit ethernet port, a wireless NIC, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, an analog out jack, and one 40 pin GPIO. Now the Mister is a little bit different. It comes with a Cortex A9, which is running at 800 megahertz, about half the speed, one gig of DDR3 RAM. It also has an ethernet port, no wireless. It comes with seven USB 2.0 ports, one audio out jack, and two 40 pin GPO ports, um, or interfaces. The reason I highlighted those in teal is you have to buy the IO board and USB hubs to get those. While the Mister does output standard HDMI 1080p, it also has an analog port uh, when you buy the analog board and it's a VGA port DB15 and this allows you to hook up uh, VGA, you know, RGB, uh, YP, BPR you know, formats. One of the really cool features about having the IO board add-on is that you get dual video output. Both analog and digital can be output at the same time and that is a really nice feature to have especially if you're a streamer. For the Raspberry Pi 4 it's also somewhat unique. While it does output 1080p over its HDMI ports for retro gaming, there is something to note. Uh, it does have two micro HDMI ports. There are two if you want to split the signals or use it for other purposes. And obviously, you'll have to buy the micro you know, HDMI to standard HDMI adapter for that. To understand why there are so many hardware differences, we need to know how they function because the Mister differs from most other emulation systems. The Mister is the latest in FPGA technology. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Arrays, which allows basically a set of logical blocks to be programmed in any way desired and allows you to create a functioning circuits like that of a motherboard or CPU. So this requires each and every circuit on every motherboard on every arcade to be painfully and tediously mapped out. Once they have it mapped out though, they can use HDL or hardware definition language to actually code the core so that these gate arrays can actually align and perform the exact same function as the original circuit. So you get cycle accuracy. It's pretty impressive stuff. But you have to consider hardware options because that's where the bulk of the price comes in. The Pi 4 can be bought for $40 to $50 depending on which model you get, while the Mister is broken up into several boards. The DE10 Nano costs about $140 and with the USB hub, another $45 and another $60 for the I.O. board and another 60 if you want the 128 megs of SD RAM. And that's specifically for playing other high-end games like Neo Geo's King of Fighter and things like that. Anyway, you can also get full kits with all the boards that can be purchased so that you can remove all that need. Um, the other ease of the Pi is that it comes fully assembled, unless you buy a case or you know a kit, and even those don't require soldering. They're pretty easy, but they cost a fraction of the price and they're ready to go. So the deal breaker for you may be in the software,
both Mr. and RetroPie are free. So if you've gotten this far and you got the hardware, no worries. The RetroPie and Emulation Station, uh, or RetroPie and the Mr. software are both free. So what we're going to take a look at is the difference in presentation and which one is a little bit easier and a little bit more difficult to set up. Let's take a look. All right, so software and games, the big one. For presentation, the Pi's most popular software package is RetroPie. It's based on Raspbian and it comes bundled with RetroArch and Emulation Station, which is the front end manager to the different systems on your Pi. RetroPie gives you a large amount of systems that you can emulate from vintage systems like the Amiga all the way up to the N64 and even the Sega Dreamcast, and it performs very well. Emulation Station can be configured as a very nice front end with themes filled with custom graphics, marquees, layouts, and can look really nice and even give you the option of background music as a bonus. But this does require a bit of time dedicated, you know, to manually downloading and configuration and setup. Now let's take a look at the software including games available for the Mister. The Mister also has its own software package. It's available on GitHub. And it also has a large amount of systems that it can emulate, including vintage and classic systems. So if you're especially looking for vintage computer systems, I would definitely recommend the Mister, as it does those especially well, all the way up to the 16-bit systems. If you're looking for fifth generation systems or later, such as PlayStation and 64, the Mister might not be for you. And this is due to the CPU limitations of the DE10 Nano board. And it gives it the ability to emulate up to about the fourth generation systems, such as Neo Geo. And here's the key. Are you listening? This is the key right here. The biggest difference. The Pi is doing software emulation. That means it uses audio and video buffering, and it causes the Pi to have several frames of inherent lag. Below is Jotega's brilliant example and explanation of this in an interview that he recently did with Racket Boy. So the Mister has the advantage of claiming cycle accuracy, unlike the Pi. So my friends that I've spoken to that have played the Mister and played the Pi, they can attest this as well. You can tell the difference. There's definitely a difference in the authentic sound and feel of the game when it's played on FPGA versus software emulation. FPGA is definitely a successful technology. There's other success stories too when you look at the AVS from Retro USB or even the Mega SD from Terra Onion, you know, where they authentically replicate the hardware's uh, functionality. And that makes a difference if it's something that you're looking for. Some gamers just want to experience games exactly the way they remembered them. And FPGA can do that. So choosing the Pi or the Mister based on the front end interface and game support boils down to whether or not you want authentic games or just more games. A sexy front end or one that just works. Best example for when the authenticity of games comes into play is for games that require extreme timing. Platform games and fighting games such as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out or Mega Man 2. These games are easily played on the Mister. While they're much more difficult on the Pi due to its lag. If you're specifically interested in arcade games, the Mister community is actively releasing new core files for each arcade game, several per week. And the current list is about a couple hundred, while the Pi can already play thousands of arcade games with MAME and other built-in emulators. So do you require a really cool front end with a lot of games? Or are you more interested in games that give you the most authentic experience possible? Next, let's talk about controllers, because controllers are what connects us to the game. They allow us to explore its world, and when it comes to playing a game, nothing is more authentic than playing on an actual controller, the one that was built for the system. But what options are available to both the Mister and the Pi? So while both the Pi and the Mister will accept most standard USB controllers, including Switch Pro, PS4, and Xbox controllers, there's something to consider when using Bluetooth. Now the Mister requires the Bluetooth dongles to be purchased separately if you want this functionality, while the Pi offers this support right out of the box. As you guys have seen from my previous videos, I am a huge fan of the XRK Tank Stick, but can I use it on these systems? 
If you have upgraded your X Arcade to the zero lag tri mode board, then you're pretty much home free. If not, then for the Pi, you'll simply need to install the X Arcade to joystick drivers, which is available in all the latest RetroPie versions. The X Arcade and Mr. relationship is a bit rocky. While you will be able to play most games on the Mr., the base core is a bit finicky with USB device mapping, and I even have an issue open specifically for the X input mode on the new Zero Lag Tri Mode board, as it's not fully supported on the X Arcade. The good news is that the direct input mode works just fine and is still highly compatible. And one more thing, speaking of using actual system controllers, with the Mister you can purchase serial, native, accessory support, or snack add-ons. These snack add-ons give you the ability to use lag-free system controller to USB converters for that particular core. So currently there is support for NES, SNES, Sega, PC Engine, Atari, and even the Game Boy Link. So obviously, neither the Pi or the Mr. is plug and play. I mean, when it comes to open source and community driven projects like these two, you have to consider what are your options when you get stuck. And each of these communities have a different yet similar approach to offering solutions. The Pi has a dedicated site that is well documented as well as forums for any questions. The community is very active, but you are at the mercy of who can help you. Usually though, most people are willing to chime in with a quick solution, but you do have to ask the right questions. I've had questions go unanswered simply because I didn't ask the right way. Other than that, for most questions, you'll get an answer pretty quickly for easy situations. The Mr.'s community is a little different. It's based on the fact that the code itself is open source on GitHub. This means that the community is based around the folks that actually compile and maintain the code. Not just users, as you can even download it yourself if you think you can fix it. Or you can open up an issue with the person that actually maintains the code. I find it a bit more responsive and personal, as you can message the contributors and the people that maintain the code directly, and issues remain open until they're closed. So I don't think you can go wrong here. If you decide to go with the Mr. or the Pi, you're gonna have plenty of support. Both have a lot of forums and even have Discord channels that can help you out if you get stuck. So if you're trying to build an image, uh, speaking of which, Tony just came out with a video. Check it out, I'll put a link in the description. And figure out how to put it on the video as well. Still learning that part. But anyway, either case, you're gonna have plenty of help, plenty of people that are willing to help you uh, if you get stuck with something you know, hit them up. They're very kind, they're very friendly. Just make sure you know what you're asking and that you've tried certain things because they will ask you to test some certain things, okay? They don't want you to waste their time because plenty of people need help. But the point is, you'll be fine either way, so you're not gonna be left out in the dark. While PC and console modding are still one of the easiest ways to emulate retro systems, single board computer solutions like the Pi and Mr. have come a long way and they provide people with yet another alternative. So would you go with the Pi or the Mister? Do you prefer actual hardware only? I mean, is it neither? Which one is it? Let me know. Hit us up in the comments. I'd love to see what people are doing out there, what you guys prefer, what you don't prefer. You know, it's always interesting to hear another side. Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you next time.